Welcome to MDC uh, Zimbabwe Live. We are coming from um, uh, Chipinge right now. This riverbed, the people here are saying that the water was going all the way up there. You see just now where people are right now. The river was getting to there in the last few days. So President Chamisa, he's taking a tour of the place to appreciate the gravity of the issue and to understand what the people are going through. So here he's just interacting with some villagers here in Chipinga. something that we appreciate and uh, I must say that on the part of the state we could do better we need to see more uh, helicopters see more uh, deployment of uh, government vehicles and government personnel to help and rescue uh, survivors uh, and also to help and rescue the burial of the loved ones so this is something that I will take home and take back to Arara to say this is not partisan it's not about politics it's about our country we must be able to rise above partisan politics and look at this thing as a national challenge, which must be looked at from a national perspective. Emergent situations require emergent solutions. Uh, and I think uh, my coming here together with the leadership uh, of the MDC is our own kind gesture of our willingness to put our hands on the deck to resolve the national challenges. You appeal to the corporate world to uh, come in and uh, help and offer a uh, giving hand. Well, we need a lot, not just an appeal. We also need prayers to our living God. Uh, so we are appealing to churches, to through pastors, bishops, apostles, and prophets to also pray for this country, pray for the victims, survivors. Also pray uh, for those who are missing their loved ones uh, so that they find uh, uh, solace and peace. Beyond that, business people, corporate world, the international community within the region, in SADC, the AU, and of course, um, 
the international uh, community in the West, may they come to the rescue of Zimbabwe and help the people of Zimbabwe. Uh, you know, together we are able to deal with this. This is a natural disaster. It's not man-made. Uh, so we need to have uh, uh, a collective and concerted effort to try and deal with the issue. There have been complaints being raised by ordinary Zimbabweans, including some of your supporters, who are saying it is ill-advised for the president to leave the country uh, while he is facing this serious disaster. So how would you comment on that, that the president left the country at a time when the disaster was hitting the country? Which president? Because I'm here. <laughs> or maybe your counterparts. <laughs> oh, you, so I can you must be very specific, uh, because I thought you were referring to, to myself. But anyway, in terms of Mr. Mnangagwa, yes, I think he is getting uh, it the wrong way. When you have such a crisis of this magnitude, you can't afford to even travel, even to call it a short stay, a short visit, it was not necessary. Even to cut it short uh, is, is ill-advised. You don't cut short something that was short. He was not supposed to travel in the first place as a demonstration of your seriousness. He was supposed to be here, you know, supervising, being on the ground, seeing how the situation was being sorted. Of course, he can't be on the ground uh, to do the handwork, but he was supposed to be here to provide leadership, motivation, inspiration, comfort, and direction to the ordinary people. Well, Mr. President, uh, on the issue of uh, preparedness, uh, this uh, cycle of the day is affecting so many places, areas in, across Zimbabwe, and uh, the country was caught unprepared. What is supposed to be done in case of other emergencies or similar cases? Well, the, the country was not caught unaware because we are aware. It was caught unprepared, ill prepared, ill equipped. Why? Because we are not good at planning, we are not good at thinking things that save lives. We are good at thinking about things that secure and saves power. But life is more than just political power. Power is out of the preservation of lives of these people whom we have been uh, seeing at the receiving end. So yes, going forward, we need to review our disaster preparedness uh, uh, systems. We need to look at our um, uh, uh, disaster uh, early warning uh, systems. We also need to look at uh, our civic uh, protection unit to revamp it and also equip it appropriately. But more importantly, deploy all the state institutions and such situations ahead of time, not to act after you know, the fact or to act after the disaster has struck. Look at the damage that has gone in. Uh, you know, these are some of the things you must anticipate. But also, one thing I have observed is the poor workmanship on most of our bridges and our roads. I think these are some of the things we must be dealing with going forward. We need things to be done above board with all the specs and the standards that are international in nature. So, thank you. Thank you. So thank after you. this tour, what are you going to do as a part? We have already done a lot in terms of mobilizing food, mobilizing logistics, blankets for the survivors, but also to make sure that we help to bury you know, those who have lost uh, their loved ones. Beyond this, we are also going to continue to coordinate all other efforts to make sure we put our hands on the deck. We are only but a political party, yes, a leading political party with the majority of the people supporting us, but we need state resources to also kick in to have a collective approach to this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it, Zimbabwe. That was uh, MDC President Advocate Nelson Shamisa talking about. 
uh, what they have seen in Chipinge and Chimani Mani after the tour that they have taken. My name is Yvonne Muchaka. I'm coming to you live from Chipinge. Uh, we are continuing to stream to you uh, because we understand that you're mobilizing resources wherever you are. The situation here is dire. People need food. People need assistance. We are hearing that their bodies are um, stuck uh, in some areas because they are marooned, it, they are un inaccessible at the moment. So there are bodies that are stuck, uh, there are people who are still stuck in some areas. And we also, um, we've also been to, to Nyanyadzi, um, to Nyanyadzi um, a clinic uh, where the mortuary has got two bodies that are yet to be identified. Uh, it's a male and a female body. That uh, These bodies are washed down by, 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 by the waters. So the situation is really dire, so please do get hold of our people uh, to support the cause. The people need food, they need blankets, uh, they need medication because there is really um, a, a sad situation here in, uh, in, in Chipinge and Shimani Mani. So please do continue to, um, to send us messages, uh, to send us whatever that you have if you've got a cash donation. Please do so to your nearest Red Cross Association. If you've got uh, blankets, um, clothes, whatever, do send it to uh, Morgan Richard Shangrai House at the MDC head office. Or you can do that uh, through our Mutare contacts. And uh, this information uh, is available on this page. Uh, do get hold of us. Continue to send us your feedback, your comments, and your expectation and all. Uh, continue to send it on our Facebook page, MDC Zimbabwe, on our YouTube channel, uh, Jinjamai Tiro, on our Twitter page, handle at uh, MDC Zimbabwe. And let's keep on talking. Zimbabwe needs everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We'll continue to bring you uh, updates as we continue to move. Uh, thank you so much, Zimbabwe. God bless you.